Hey there YouTube world, Hammer Time here. Uh, this is Operation Ice Cream. This is Italy Turn 7. <clears throat> uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, man. Uh, I mean, we got... You gotta watch these recaps. We got a couple transports there for UK to come on in. I've held Gibraltar, so their fleet finally decided after making a minor landing in Europe decided to go up to Norway so I'm sure it's Leningrad or well it's got to be Leningrad next to try to take the point away I kind of told Wojtek who's playing my who's my teammate with Japan I kind of told him when they were starting to come over here in the 109 that uh, I didn't think they can make a push on Paris so I said I still got to keep Gibraltar though because they could have hit and come in and surprised me in Rome, but I, I really figured they were gonna come over here and take this point city away from Leningrad, so. So, uh, but the Germans in Italy have had to deal with all kinds of other stuff. Um, so it's not like I could have just sit there and stack Leningrad. I had to, I first had to stack Gibraltar all game, keep them from coming in. Then when they pushed into here, I had to stack Denmark, so they couldn't get in here to get Warsaw and Berlin, two point cities, and even a third one they could have gotten Leningrad from here. So I figured instead of trying to build up and protect all that, it's best just to protect in one country or one territory, Denmark, instead of one, two, three, or actually two, because I still got to build up in there because now they decided to come up. So, anyways, I, I love playing against great players, man. It makes me think. Uh, Moosecal over here with USA just started to, uh, he's making his push and blocks and going to be a battle for these islands. So it's really, really interesting. I'm, I'm still kind of new at any Axis and Allies game. I only started a couple years ago and just started writing on BBR. So I'm just... And went, I went J1 and G1 now, and I'm just doing all different type of stuff, so I can, I need to get experience in all situations of the game, so, you know, I mean, I, you can go J1, but who would really do that in tournament, but I just wanted the experience in this game, G1, I just want the experience of what it, how it plays out, and what, you know, you can still learn stuff from it, so, anyways, we're on the 7 here, and it's playing out how I kind of figured uh, an allied mass around all areas. Uh, <laughs> going to try to take the points, so we're going to try to hold the points. I think we're at 12. Um, maybe a point or two we can gain, but we can also lose a point or two or three. So it just depends. So. Anyways, I had 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17 dollars. I'm gonna spend all of it but two. I'll spend 15 on five infantry. Um, got a few attacks here to do. Number one attack, I'm gonna take the tank in Aragon, go one in the Normandy, two in the Bel Belgium Holland, and um try to take out that infantry so this will go to Italy now on Normandy uh, I ain't gonna worry about UK's money he madman's good at keeping track of that so I've lost track of it I'm um, down here in Vichy uh, madman just walked in here last round with UK so I'm gonna take an infantry and an artillery from northern Italy into Vichy. I'm going to fly this fighter 1-2 into there. And just so I don't have to mark it, it's going to go 1-2 back to Rome. The fighter is. So just know it's going to go back to there. All right. Uh, another attack. I have two regular bombers. Italian bombers and... Leningrad they're gonna go one now let me see how to do this one two three one two three four 
down in the caucuses, but they fly over some AA. So since that's during combat, let me see how else I can do it. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, there's no other way. All right, we'll have to roll that. Uh, a walk-in for another is uh, two, four, six, ten infantry from Ukraine into Rostov. And that's worth two points. So... Um, Italy will go up to 21. I don't even know where Rush is at either. 18 or something, maybe. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and they'll land in Ukraine. The two bombers will. Uh, no, they won't. Let me put two down, Fawn. Oh, you can't even see that over here. Sorry. All right, I believe that accounts for, all right, let's roll. I always like to do AA first so I don't forget it. So wherever there's AA on the battlefield, I go ahead and usually roll for it. I have two bombers, and thank goodness. So the two misses came from Briangst, the Russian AA on the two bombers and that is a miss so let's do the attack so let's just go ahead and do the attack so the two bombers survive so i got four at two against four at two on the four uh, uk infantry and caucuses just one that's all i got now he gets to roll and he got one all right so one UK infantry off, one Italian bomber off, and this one has survived, can only go one round in attack in BBR. So uh, that's dead. All right, next rolling, any rolling? Yep, let's do the tank against the infantry up in uh, Holland, Belgium. So I got a three. And he has a two. I'll roll them together. Misses. Misses. Hits. So, at least I took that out. I don't get the territory, but... So the Italian tank is gone and the UK infantry is gone. And then... We have Vici. I have a fighter and artillery infantry paired. So that's a three and two twos against one UK infantry. Got a hit. And here's the infantry. And a hit. So. I will lose an infantry in Vichy, and UK will lose an infantry in Vichy. And that comes over to, let me flag that as Italy for three. So Italy's up to 24, I don't even know where UK's at. I believe I got all the battles in. Now for troop moves. Um, the fighter in Bulgaria will go one, two, three, four into Leningrad. The remaining bomber in Caucasus had two left. We'll go one and two into Greece. I can use him as a casualty or something, maybe. Um, two infantry and an AA in Rome will rail one. Oh man, I thought they could make that. 
Well, they can't. Uh, they cannot. One, I miscounted that. One, two, one, two, three. Hmm. All right, they're going to Albania. Which means I'm going to change this strategic bomber. Caucasus into C zone 100 into Bulgaria. Because he used four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, he'll go to Bulgaria. Um. There is two infantry and an artillery in Paris will rail will rail one, two, three in Albania. The fighter in Vici, as I said, we'll go back to Rome. Two spaces back. The AA in Northern. We'll go to Rome. All right, I think that's everything. I'm going to put three infantry in Rome. One, two, three. And two infantry in Northern. <clears throat> so, I've messed up all these. Oh, well. All right. Let me double check this. Skimpy, skimpy on some areas, but. Okay. I think that'll do it. I took a long enough. Um, uh, troop dispositions. Uh, Vici, artillery. Northern, two infantry, Rome, fighter, AA, three infantry, Albania, four infantry, AA, artillery, Bulgaria, bomber, Rostov, 10 infantry, Leningrad, one fighter, Denmark, three, six, nine, 10 infantry, 11 infantry, wait a minute, three, six, nine, 10, 11 infantry, two AAs. And I believe that's where well, I got the stuff in. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Sorry. Um, three artillery will move in the Castilla along with five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen infantry. So three artillery, thirteen infantry into Castilla from Gibraltar. And. That will do it. Um, this was Italy turn seven. Operation Ice Cream. And all right, hammer time out.